Hello, and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of February 21st, 2021. Well, the House Budget Committee has released their full text of the current stimulus package. And they, they passed it yesterday. It is basically 591 pages long. So it's basically the size of a nice size novel. And here are some of the key points in the stimulus bill. First and foremost, we can't forget about the $1,400 stimulus checks going out to the people. That's in there, of course. But they've also upped the ante a bit by making it so that you can get $1,400 per dependent. And this also includes adult dependents. But there's still this, the same age caps, uh, sorry, earning caps on it of $75,000 for single filers and $150,000 for joint filers. But we'll see what happens with that when it gets to the Senate and see if the Senate will leave it as it is or if they'll actually try to decrease the um, income caps like they've been trying to do to $50,000 and $100,000. But the current income caps, like I said, are $75,000 for single and $150,000 for joint filers. And also, um, let's see here. Basically, if you're a single filer, and they're gonna they have gonna have it phased out for you guys, basically. So basically, if you earn seventy five thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars, you'll be getting a smaller and smaller stimulus check. But once you reach a hundred thousand dollar cap, you don't get nothing. And the same thing goes for joint filers. Once they reach a hundred fifty thousand dollar cap, they don't get nothing. And on the child tax credit issue of the thing. Oops, I'm jumping ahead a bit. Sorry. No, let's let them in front of, in front of it. They're allowing us to get, well, the people with children to get uh, $3,000 for children that are 6 to 17 years of age and $3,600 for uh, parents with children of 6 and younger. And they make it so you can actually make this as a monthly plan. So basically, they can pay, they'll pay this out to you per month instead of at the end of the year, or you also file at the end of the year as a child, check, child tax credit and get it that way as well. <clears throat> it also contains supplemental unemployment benefits. So if you remember basically from when the CARES Act came out in early of 2020, how everyone was getting $600 a month, sorry, $600 a week of additional unemployment boost on top of their current unemployment. And then the Trump thing came out, which gave you to have $300 a week. Well, that Trump thing is about to expire in the middle of March. So they're, that's why they're in a rush to try to get this all passed. But the New Deal basically gives you $400 per week until August 29th. So basically, you still get a nice unemployment boost. So let's hope these unemployment boosts don't last forever and see you guys actually go out there and find employment for yourselves to, to basically, you know, make life more fun i mean what's the point of staying at home doing nothing all day go out there and get a job and make some more make some friends and be american you know so don't stay on unemployment forever and as we can't forget about the minimum wage as well they because we're trying to get it up to 50 dollars an hour but as you know we do have the republican senators to worry about because they're not going to like that they very voiced their opinion saying how it's going to hurt small businesses and we know that the republicans don't care about small businesses because they care about money and small businesses don't make enough money to foot the republican bill whereas big businesses do well and we also have the two conservative democrats joe manchin and kirsten cinema that are also slightly opposed to the 15 dollars hour minimum wage as well but how they have it laid out is that basically the minimum wage would go up this year it, it keep going up until 2025 and at 2020 at year 2025 you'd be 15 dollars an hour minimum wage and then after that it'd be how well the economy is doing basically so basically if the economy starts to grow more and more the minimum wage can also go up with that so it's not tied with having to sign another bill into act so they're trying to basically save a lot of paperwork a lot of time to do stuff that's more important and the current 15% food stamp boost would be extended until September. K-12 schools would receive more than $100 billion for reopening. And child care practice people would receive $40 billion as well. And then there's also $15 billion in it for the EIDL. $25 billion for the um, gr grants, bars, and restaurants plus $7 million for 
the Paytech Protection Program, which is a good thing because it helps out the small businesses. And they actually opened it up so more nonprofit organizations can also get on the PPP as well. They also included $320 billion for state and local government assistance. That'll make Nancy Pelosi very, very happy. There is $25 billion for tribe and t- tribal and territories, but nothing will be final until the bill basically reaches President Biden's desk and he signs it into law. But as we know, that is going to basically go to uh, the Senate next, and then the Senate par- parliamentarian basically has to go through all the stuff, and she also has to figure out whether this $15-hour minimum wage thing can be tied to reconciliation so it can be passed with the rest of the bill. So that's why we're still up in airs about the minimum wage thing, because we don't know if it can be passed by reconciliation or not. Even though they've already done direct ties to it and the to economy, how it, it actually helped the economy out. And yet the Republicans are weighing the ne- the pros and the cons and going with the cons of the pros. Because the pros are it would basically bring 900,000 Americans out of poverty. And they're guessing it's an estimated cost of 1.4 million jobs. Well, I don't see how it'd be because the simple fact that we 900 million people, sorry, 900,000 people would be out of poverty working. So that would take up 900,000 jobs right there. So how they come out with 1.4 million is beyond me because that's still like what, 500,000 jobs that's uncovered with it, with the people being brought out of poverty. I mean, I'm working. I have no problem with it. I actually enjoy working. It's a, it's, a, it's a good way to meet people and I'm friends with everyone I work with. So, you know, I say it's a good thing. Let's see if we can pass this $15 minimum wage thing so we can actually help out the people because that's what it is. And right now we're we're at the, the we're not really doing so good basically as, that, as far as minimum wage goes. But before I continue to ramble on and, and bore you with my semantics, um, oh, I actually wish you guys a Monday wonderful night. Sunday. I, I think, think it's an evening. They said our broadcast, but I think they have more information for your ears to hear. Till then, great night.